Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2021, the Ministry of Defense has placed the first order for 118 Arjun Mark 1A worth Rs 7,523 crore activating the AVNL that is Armored Vehicle Lingam Limited's production line which was idle for almost 10 years. The first batch of Arjun MBT will be delivered to the Army by March 2024 and the order is expected to be completed by the year 2026. It has also been reported that DRDO has approached Indian Army for more orders of Arjun Mark 1A. The Arjun Mark 1A is 68 ton, most lethal, sophisticated and all-weather rugged bull of Indian Army. The Mark 1A version comes with 22 improvements including 14 major upgrades specifically requested by Army. Talking about its firepower, Arjun Mark 1A has got four major upgrades under firepower segment. This include an improved gunner's main sight integrated with automatic target tracking which helps the crew to track moving targets automatically making it easier for the gunner to fire even when tank is on the move. The commander's panoramic sight that is CPS Mark II has been integrated with thermal imager that enables the commander to effectively conduct surveillance both in day and night through eye-safe laser range finder with an advanced hunter killer capability. The tank is able to fire conventional fin stabilized armor piercing discarding Sabot or FSAPDS and high explosive squash head that is HESH ammunition rounds. The thermobaric and penetration cum blast ammunition has also been developed. It is also capable of firing SAMHO anti tank guided missile and intelligently developed laser guided ATGM from its 120mm gun. The ATGM has a range of 0.825 km and is capable of defeating ERA of MBT. It is also capable of firing Israeli laser homing anti tank or Lahat missile. The 120mm rifle gun of Arjun features electro snag refined gun steel tube designed to withstand higher gas pressure. Arjun's barrel offers better life when compared to T series of tanks. It can fire almost twice the number of rounds compared to T series of Russian tanks from its main gun. Arjun Mark 1A has been upgraded with a remote controlled weapon station that provides loader the capability of engaging ground targets and aerial targets from a protected envelope of the tank armor. It also provides an additional capability to fight an urban area called hatch closed firing. The Arjun MBT is protected by indigenously developed Kanchan composite armor that consists of ceramic tiles and composite panels sandwiched between rolled homogeneous armor RHA plates which has been tested against a variety of modern anti-tank munition including APFSDS rounds. The Arjun tanks are also protected with ultra-high steel low-alloy DMR-1700 steel armor plates developed by DMRL which offers 20-25% more protection against the kinetic energy penetrator projectiles. The front arc of the hull and turret of Arjun Mark 1A is fitted with new explosive reactive armor. The another key feature added is a containerized ammunition beam and individual shutter that is cabis regarding which we have already discussed. Arjun Mark 1A has protection against the chemical attacks. A special chemical sensor is mounted to detect the pressure of harmful toxic chemicals in the atmosphere around the tank. The tank crew gets the air through a particulate filter for their survival. The battlefield management system of Arjun has been developed by DRDO in collaboration with Elbit of Israel. The system connects the tank to other fighting units in the battlefield. It is also equipped with GPS based navigation system. Upgrades to the tank includes a laser warning control system a tank urban survival kit which includes the smoke grenade system, infrared jammer and laser warning system. The laser warning and countermeasure system protects the crew by creating a smoke screen between itself and the enemy. The anti-infrared or anti-thermal imaging paints have been employed on the tank that reduces the signature of tank when viewed through IR or TI camera or goggles making the tank difficult to be detected by the enemies. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector